Uh, yeah, Hackett finds out. Hackett tells Rodgers. Rodgers makes a phone call because Rodgers runs the team. Look, the worst thing they ever could have done, Michael, is accept the $35 million that he gave up last year in salary. Remember when he did that and everybody's like, hey, Aaron Rodgers is a great guy. No, Aaron Rodgers is trying to take control. And the best way to take control is to give somebody something you have no obligation to give them, and then you can hold it over them whenever you want something in the future for the rest of your life when you're talking about $35 million. So there's no way they're going to make a move without him because I think his ultimate leverage is I'll just walk away. I'll just retire. I'll just leave. I got better things to do. And I wouldn't be surprised if he hasn't hinted at that at some point over the last two years. I don't need this. And so, okay, well, we got to keep this guy around because we need him. So we better do what he wants. It's been the vibe from the moment he walked through the door. Yeah, you know, uh, Mike, it, in, I was just thinking about this yesterday because I agree with you 100%. You know, Aaron Rodgers is running the organization. Uh, he's, he's ambassador too. Uh, <laughs> call him Ambassador Frankenstein or Ambassador Igor, whatever. But he's... He's running this, he's running the organization, and I was thinking, like, how many times have teams turned their organizations over to a quarterback on a second or third franchise and celebrated at the end of it? So twice. So the Patriots, shame on them, the Patriots thought that Tom Brady was done after 2019. All he wanted was, you know, a two-year contract, $25 million a year. He wanted a, a Drew Brees contract. The Patriots wouldn't give it to him, and he went to Tampa he took over the franchise with some pushback. We remember from Bruce Arians. He had some pushback, but ultimately he got his way. He was able to bring Gronk out of retirement, Antonio Brown. He got some of his guys, and, and they, they, they were happy with the result. Brady did it. Peyton Manning, when the Colts gave up on him, uh, said, hey, injury is just too much for us. We got the number one pick. We're going to take Andrew Luck. He took over the Broncos, and they had great results. But those, that's Peyton Manning and Tom Brady. Uh, so multiple champions, both of those guys. And Aaron Rodgers is a multiple MVP winner. I just, I've never looked at him as those guys. I don't think he's like that. Uh, individually, yes, but collectively, collaboratively, I don't think that's his gift. And so what you get with Aaron Rodgers in decline, not bad, but in decline, taking over your franchise is what you've always gotten. Dysfunction, chaos. And Rogers, the one who asked for accountability, he says, hold them accountable, Robert. Robert tried to hold your guy accountable and you wouldn't let him do it. You blocked him. So it's just really more of the same, just, just different names, different numbers, but more of the same nonsense. It's a great comment that you make because I was texting with someone yesterday about Rodgers and how he is, how he's become, and the comment that the other person made was Peyton Manning and Tom Brady were actually worse than Rodgers. They just hit it better. Rodgers doesn't care. And Rodgers did reach that point probably three, four years ago where he made his heel turn and he got to the point where he just doesn't care anymore. He spends his whole life obsessed with what people think. And he finally decided at age 37, 38, I just don't care anymore. And he doesn't try to, he doesn't, and I still think he does tr make some effort, make some effort to conceal what he's doing. What he's doing is running the show and the best evidence of it came yesterday. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.